Hello, beautiful. Welcome back. Today, I want to dive right in. I want to talk to you about three powerful questions that you can ask yourself whenever you start doing any strategic planning and visioning in your business, making strategies and plans for the new year in 2022 or creating a strategy to get you to the end of 2021, whatever it is. These three questions are going to support you to create the strategies and the plans that are going to help you succeed in your business. Before we get to those three questions, I want to talk to you about two things to consider in your visioning and your strategic planning for the new year. The first one is, I invite you to do your strategic planning from the future. What I mean is, I want you to look at your business as a going concern, as a long-term venture. It's a long game, okay? And in this game, I want you to imagine what you want, where you want to be, who you want to be working with in 10 years from now in 15 years from now, in five years from now, and make your 2022 planning and strategies from the place of five years from now. Five years from now, what income do you wanna be making? Who do you wanna be working with? How do you wanna be working? What programs and offerings do you wanna have? What delivery systems do you wanna have in place? Because when you strategize from five years from now and step into the identity of the woman, that future you, you get to elevate your mindset. You get to trick your brain into making decisions from a higher level, a higher level for your content now, for your messaging now, for your marketing now. And you get to create the clients that are your dream clients because you completely align with them because they're in the flow of your business for the next 10 years. So instead of just focusing on historical data and, oh, this is October 20, 2021, make the decision from January 2027. Make the decision from December 2026. Identify all the plans you want, all the strategies, and run them through the mindset, the lens, the funnel of 2026. And from that place, you get to make higher level decisions that create more impact, more profit, more sales, and more clients for you. That's the first point. The second point is to look at the three big parts of your business when you're doing your vision and your strategy planning. And those parts are your connection, your engagement with your clients, and the most important one, your sales. Because honestly, without sales, you don't have a coaching business. So as much as you're a coach and you're doing all this transformation out in the world, the most important element that allows you and supports you and empowers you to transform lives is sales. So you're in a coaching business and in the sales business because the coaching business does not exist without sales. So in your strategy, in that planning session, focus on sales. Identify how you want to do sales, who you want to sell to, how it's going to work for you so that you can bring in the people you want to work with, have as much fun as you want transforming lives and relationships and health and whatever coaching that you do. And also make this fun for you while you share your divine gifts in the world. Okay? And if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Mimi Davo, and I'm a high-ticket business coach working with spiritual female coaches to support them to create a million dollars in their business without waiting until they make $250,000 or waiting until they've created $500,000. They are ready to make that quantum leap and share their gifts in a bigger way today. Now back to the three questions. Question one, but before we get there, let me ask you, what question do you ask yourself when you start your strategic planning for the new year? What do you ask yourself? Is it questions about what should, what should I, who should I have on my team? Should I grow my team? What's my profit margin? Do you look at historical data? Or do you look at your offers and figure out what new offerings you want to create? Or perhaps you look at what service delivery. Do you still do one-to-one? -one? Are you doing one-to-many? Are you doing VIP days? Are you doing group? What questions do you ask yourself? Put it down in the, in the chat and let me see. I'll, re I'll respond to them. Now, let me ask you the first question that I'm inviting you to ask yourself. The first powerful question is, what would be the most fun for you? As you get to share your divine gifts in the world, you get to share the things that God has put in your heart and who he's calling you to be out in the world. What would be the most fun for you? No matter what strategy you're creating in your business, ask yourself this question because it's super important. When you decide what would be the most fun for you, you get to create a business aligned with who you are and you get to show up more because 
Sales becomes a natural extension of your business, of yourself and who you're being in the world. Because when you do the thing that is most fun for you, you do it better. I'll give you an example. In my health coaching business, I love talking about real food because I help women to lose weight and I help them to lose weight and get healthy and fitter and hotter and look better naked by eating real food. So I'm always talking about real food at the grocery store, wherever you can find me. And people always say to me, oh my gosh, you love real food. Like, what's that about? And I go, well, it's my job. And they say, what's your job? And I say, I'm a coach. I help people to lose weight. I'm a health coach who works with real food. And they go, oh, that's interesting. And we have a conversation and somehow they end up applying to work with me because they're really interested because now it's exciting and fun. It's fun for me. So I get to do what's fun for me. And I get to sell from that place. It's a natural extension of who I am. And I get to make money, add value, and transform lives and help people lose weight and look hotter and better and stronger and healthier. All because I'm talking about real food because it's, passion. it's a passion of mine. So when you do something that's fun and create your business strategy around what's fun to you, you do it better. It becomes a natural extension of who you are and sales becomes so aligned. You create the clients you want to create. Your engagement is better because the content is based around stuff that drives you, that you're passionate about and you love. And you're going to show up for your people and serve them because you know it's, not, it's easy to know it's not about you. It's all about them. The second question to ask yourself is, what does your version of success look like? You know, a lot of times I'm, I, I do the same thing. We look outside of ourselves, at other people's successes, other people's values, and then we start chasing their wins and we start trying to win their race. So I want you to focus on your gift, your values, and what you really want and define your version of success for yourself in 2022 that has nothing to do with your coach, your business strategist, your mentor, your advisor, your best friend, your mom, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your friends. What, does, what do you want? What is your version of success? Is it spending more time with your family? Is it being healthy and stronger? Is it traveling more? Is it going shopping? Is it buying the dream home you always wanted on the beach? Like, what is your version of success? Because when you look at what you want and how you define success, you get to create a business that supports that. And through that lens, you get to show up and you get to serve because you know you're doing you. All right, that's the second question. The third question is, what would stretch you? It's great to have fun in business. You know, we all want to do the fun things. Nobody wants to do what's uncomfortable. You don't, and I don't either. So what is the thing that would have you clenching your butt cheeks? Because it's so scary. It's so uncomfortable. And you will pay somebody to do it because you don't want to do it. What's the thing that you, it makes you so scared? But if you're going to do have, look through the lens of fun, what will be most fun for you, and look through your best version of success for you, then you also need to look at what would stretch you to create that version of fun and success for you. So what will be a stretch for you? What will make you uncomfortable? Step into that thing, own it, apply it to your fun and your success values, and go do it. Maybe for me, it's the camera. It's sitting here right now talking to you, my butt cheeks are clenched and this is my version of what's uncomfortable as I build my business. Yeah, I like talking about real food. I love talking about high ticket. I love sales. My favorite part of my business is sales and coaching, content making, coming in front of the camera, doing lives, doing videos. Those are not my favorite parts, but I get to do them because they stretch me. They help me to show up for you. They help me to share more value and they help me to connect with you and get engagement with you more. So what is your version of what stretches you? What is your version of the thing that scares you? What is your version of the thing that makes you want to pee or throw up right before you have to do it? So the three questions, let me back up. The first one is what will be the most fun for you as you create your strategy? The second question is going to be, what is your version of success? And the third question is going to be, what would stretch you? So you can drop your answers out down in the chat below and I'll check those out. And if this has been really useful for you, I invite you to come back, subscribe, so that you don't miss a thing. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.